in classical music we should care much more about emotions and language. Uh, because perfection, you can't just put in a CD or put on Spotify uh, on YouTube today to get a perfect recording with a lot of cuts. Uh, you come to the concert hall or to a concert to experience emotions and to, to be touched by the music. And we should, as musicians, that should be the thing we care about most. We really have to rethink tradition. We should become much more open and much more working together with dancers, with other artists like actors, speaking texts with it, doing art as a whole thing, as a whole frame, not only the music, it's just part of it, but support the music with a lot more things. I think that's, that's uh, very important. My name is Jonas Birgin, I'm 25 years old. I'm from Switzerland, but born in Tokyo actually. I moved to Norway now to study my master's in conducting with Ole Christian Ruth. And I've done my bachelor in Zurich with Johannes Schleifle. When I was a very small child in Japan, we knew a conductor and he lived at our house. So that was the <laughs> beginning of, of my dream of becoming a conductor. So he gave me his baton and I always conducted some CDs with it. But my ambition is to, to do great music with great musicians and to really create something which can change people and can change the world. Because I think that's what we should do with the music. It's not just, it's not just entertainment, there's something more behind it. And as better and as more passionate the musicians are, as easier it is to achieve this, this aim, which is really for me the, the, the only thing I want to do. I want to speak with music to people. I'm, I'm dreaming of being able to do music with great orchestras because you don't have to care about technique anymore. You really can care about what do we want to say and how do we want to say it, to whom do we want to say it. I think the orchestra found straight away that Jonas was a wonderful musician. They really respected what he did and I heard that from the first thing they, they played. And uh, We just had a lovely chat about the things that he can develop, but uh, what, what impresses me so much is that he, he sees them immediately. I don't really need to say anything and I think he's, he's, he will have a wonderful career. I think Ed is a fantastic teacher. I'm first time working with him. The things he says is exactly the things you need and he sees the big picture and he says a few things but they really help you to develop yourself further. And I think he really got me some inputs I, I have to think about and will help me in the future. And especially also with such a good orchestra because of course it's very different to conduct them to a, just some orchestra because they react completely different and Ed knows them and this is very helpful. Music is not like sports because there's not, there's not someone who's faster or slower. It's just different opinions, different languages, different ways of expressing your feelings, your emotions, what you want to say with music. I, I feel near to some languages. Um, I feel very near to, for example, Haydn, classical world. I feel very near to Mahler, to this world, also to Strauss. Uh, but it's, it's always about learning the language of a music and I think you can always learn the language of a music which you don't yet understand.